Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is still new, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. I am, I have just reached a thousand subscribers and I'm so happy to get there. Everybody, thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you so much for your subscriptions and for watching and for all your likes and wonderful uh, comments. Um, I will thank you with every single video because I know my channel will not would not be what it is today without all of you. So thank you all. I love you all so much. <laughs> now, for anyone who is new and doesn't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the two yet one. This is book one. I've read book one aloud live on Facebook and I've uploaded all of those videos here to YouTube for you to enjoy for absolutely free. If you've already read Perception uh, book one or watched all those videos, um, book two is already written and published. And these absolutely beautiful, very well made, uh, high quality paperbacks are available from Kindle Direct Publishing. They are $15.99 each, plus shipping. If you have Amazon Prime, your shipping will be free, okay? Um, all right, everyone. So you can see that I have Easter set up for this week. Uh, it's coming on uh, this coming Sunday. So uh, happy Easter to everybody. For your uh, abundance visual, I have a Easter bunny and all these cute little eggs. Um, you know, a long time ago, um, the church decided to combine the celebration of the return of spring with Easter, and that's why we have rabbits and eggs um, part of, as part of Easter. Uh, the rabbits and the eggs represent uh, fertility, um, new beginnings, and um, so that is the energy that when you look at these eggs, when you look at this bunny here, um, it brings the abundance energy into your energy, okay? So um, fertility uh, is, is not just having a child or being able to have children. If, if you're uh, the life, the, uh, if the energy of your life is fertile, then what you end up with is lots of opportunities and an abundant life. So there you go. Okay, so today for um, Easter, of course, I've got beautiful Mother Mary out here today. Um, and of course, because of, you know, Jesus' resurrection, we have Master Jesus. And next to him, we have Master Mary Magdalene. Uh, his wife and uh, twin flame, okay? Since they were all, um, you know, met the Marys were very much involved um, with this very intense um, uh, time in Jesus's life. Um, I have them all out here. So, uh, so you might be wondering who this is. Let me just let you know. Um, so these cards come from the Keepers of the Light deck. I will be using them at the end of the uh, reading for clarification. By uh, This is by Kyle Gray, and the artwork is by Lily Moses. Okay, and um, so this is the Miriam. I just want to point out some synchronicities here. Miriam is actually Mary's name. Mary, uh, Mary Magdalene, Mary the Mother... Mary is actually a translation of Miriam, okay? So that caught me right off guard, uh, not off guard, right off the bat. I was like, Miriam, the Miriam, you know? Uh, and then, uh, you know, what else is kind of interesting uh, for me is that um, Miriam is the name of Moses' sister, the one who followed him as he was in his basket floating down the river. And then... Of course, you've got lilies here, and so the artist herself is kind of in this card. You know what I mean? Uh, her name is Lily, and then Moses, you know, Miriam, sister of Moses. So I think that that's kind of cool. I've been pointing that out. Um, but, okay, so here's, here's what's up. When Mary Magdalene went to the tomb to, with her alabaster jar, uh, to anoint 
um, Jesus's body and discovered that he wasn't there, uh, there was an angel there, right? Okay. This is the angel. And you're, you're probably going, okay, why are you saying the angel? Why is this the Miriam? Well, um, the interesting thing about this, uh, you know, I've only had this deck a couple of months here. Uh, this is a two in one angel. That's what they call it. This is a, this is a two in one angel. And, um, you know, that's, that's very similar to the two yet one. Okay. But I, I called them the two yet one because they're, they're the, this is the, uh, yin and yang symbol. Okay. Uh, this is the feminine and this is the masculine. And even though there are two, it is one, right? And so that's basically who they are. This is sunshine. This is Luna, the sun, the moon, the two yet one. Okay. So, but it's, it's this that, um, angels don't really have gender at all. So they just look the same. So I think that's really interesting. Their, their message is choose to forgive in order to heal, see the light and all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Okay. So since they were also involved in the Easter story, they joined us as well. Okay, so today I'm going to be using, um, because of the Christian elements to it, I'm going to be using the Medieval Scapini Tarot by Luigi Scapini. This is a vintage deck. This is from 1985. Okay. Um, I got, this is actually the first, this is the kind of deck, the first deck that I ever used for tarot. Okay. This isn't my actual first deck. My son owns that now, but I got this through a miracle as well. <laughs> as well as this little deck here that I used to clarify. Okay. So if you would like to uh, know the story of that miracle that was given to me through mother Mary, um, Mary brought that, this miracle to me. I gotta get this box. There we go. Um, I made a video on it. This happened in February. So in the description box below, you can find all the links that you need. You can find links to purchase my books. Uh, you can find the links to view me reading book one aloud. You can find the link to, um, the video that I made. It's called the story of my miracle, February, 2021. Also, if you would like a personal reading, I do offer those as well. And so, okay, so let's get started here. At the end, like I was saying, at the end of the reading, I'm going to um, clarify or get extra answers from the Angel Answers Oracle Cards. This is the, the guidebook that comes with it by Radley Valentine. Artwork by Mike, Marius Michael George. He's such beautiful artwork. And then, of course... Um, the keepers of the light as well. So I'm going to pull a card or two from that uh, deck as well. Now, as a reader, I read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will and major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you made for your life before you incarnated uh, in order to uh, encounter and hopefully learn certain lessons of life that when learned, um, raise the vibration of your soul. As you go raising the vibration of your soul lifetime after lifetime, you eventually uh, get to such a high vibration that you are able to reach enlightenment. Okay, so when we look at the major arcana cards, we are looking at a kind of destiny, but not really um, because our free will can change just about anything. There are times that things are written into our divine blueprint as if fate or destiny and those instances are usually um, shown to me by the Wheel of Fortune, which you do not have. Okay, so uh, before I begin here, uh, I just want to let you know that this is not a typical reading. This reading here is uh, something else. And as I get into it, you'll see why. All right, so right here... 
at the heart of everything, we've got the two of wands in the reverse. Um, if I just show you the picture. This is the story of uh, Dr. Faustus, and he's uh, uh, just realized here how he's uh, traded uh, having all the power and magic in the world, being the most powerful magician in the world, and in order, you know, he traded his soul for it with this demon here, okay? And um, that's the story behind here. This is like a, uh, um, the, the two of wands is often uh, a choice, okay? And it's a choice between two extremes a lot of the time, you know? So it's, um, but this is in reverse for you, okay? So what this means is this is like um, a strong difference of opinion, okay? Uh, this can mean some trouble, but I, I, I kind of feel like um, the, that difference of opinion might be a part of this, but I feel like you haven't made a choice yet, okay? This, this is making a choice, being at a crossroads. You see that? It's like, that's a cross. It's like being at a crossroads. But I feel like you haven't made this decision yet. This is wands or fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, so this is, um, yeah, and the, and the choice, like I was saying, is usually uh, in the extremes, like one one choice um, leads to what you think is stagnation, while the other choice leads to what you think is um, a fun and adventure. But um, uh, so it seems like there's two extremes, like one is just like chilling out and not doing anything. And the other one is high energy, high adventure. And so you choose the high energy, high adventure, but it turns out to to possibly be the wrong choice. See, that's why, that's what this card is telling me, okay? So I feel like this choice is really hard for you, and that's why you haven't made it. You don't know what to do. And so you've got the two here of, um, of wands crossed by the two of cups, okay? So uh, right now, this is when I'm going to advise that you pause this video or do it after the video, but look up angel number 22, because that is what you've got here. Two twos. So, I mean, uh, I, it's obviously a choice between two people. I, I think that this is romantic love you're looking at, okay? And, and the two of cups is, is about love. This silver, the silver represents the, the feminine. The gold represents the masculine. The gold is the sun. The silver is the moon. We have a masculine. We have a feminine. You know what I mean? Um, now, I don't do gender on this channel. It's, most, it's just energy, okay? So I just feel like you have a choice. And it's really, really hard for you. You just don't know which one. And it's all about love or partnership because wands are usually indicative of career choices. However, these other cards up here, I'm not sure um, if this is really a career choice at all. It just really, it just feels like love. Now here uh, at the root of everything, we have a page, the page of swords and pages are people cards. This could be a people, per, uh, people, this could be a person. It doesn't have to be a person. Okay. Now the swords is the, um, the air element. So, uh, you know, the cups is you, which is emotion and intuition, right? Okay. Along with, uh, cancer and Pisces, this is Libra, Gemini and Aquarius energy. Um, a page is a messenger. Uh, most, a lot of the times this is a young person. Okay. But I feel like this is, um, now this could be two things. This could be a message. Okay. Now this, this, if, if this is a person, this is a very, uh, witty person. Swords are all about the mind. Okay. This is a very smart intellectual person. Okay. Um, this person may need some constructive criticism or they may have given some. And if they gave some constructive criticism, that could have been the strong dif difference of opinion that you've got going on here with the upside down two of wands. Okay, so uh, this is this is communication. Swords, uh, you take the S off and you, you've got words, okay? So this is um, intellectual, this is 
communication, this is logic, but sometimes, and this is also truth too, but sometimes these air, um, these air signs, uh, I know I'm a Libra, sometimes they're a little too honest and, and their words can be cutting. They, you know what I mean? So this can be somebody um, who has authority, somebody who could have been overseeing you. This could be like a sub boss, um, you know, like a supervisor. And then you've got a main boss and this is the supervisor. This is somebody who could have been um, watching you or, you know, watching you on social media. Um, but this is uh, kind of a crafty person in this particular deck. This this page of swords um, is isn't really somebody to be trusted. I don't know. Um, now, I I just I've, this is the root of it all. And since this is what's at the heart, and since there was this uh, there was this uh, element of uh, like a difference of opinion. It must be that somebody offered some con cons um, some criticism, perhaps. So what I'm feeling is, is like you've got a choice between two people and then somebody gave you a message or maybe some young person, some young um, air sign. And it doesn't have to be an air sign. It could just be somebody who fits these, um, this description. Uh, but they came in and gave you criticism and now you're really stuck. Now you don't know what to do. Now, this is the energy that's moving out of your life at this time, and this is the King of Wands in reverse. So a King of Wands could be a boss, definitely, okay? This is, um, Wands are, like I said, they're often connected to career. Now, this is a fire sign. For me, this is an Aries in particular. So uh, this is a mature, masculine uh, fire energy, um, but he's in the reverse, okay? So this this is somebody who doesn't have any patience, who has a volatile temper, somebody who can't see other people's point of view. Okay, this is a good but a severe masculine. Okay, they're, they're, um, they're just right, they have this fiery temper. Okay, because that's, the, that's where we get the, the um, saying fiery temper because of this fire sign. He, they can be, you know, and I just feel like, um, this person what hang on I'm getting something this is the person that had the opinion this person's opinion is different from this person's. You see what I'm saying? Because these are very different people. This is a young person who's got air energy. This is a mature person who is not really in their right energy. They're just kind of cranky right now. So this is somebody who can't see the other person's point of view. And then you've got these strong differences of opinion and then you've got constructive criticism. Yeah. These are two different people. But this one, the one who can't see the other person, person's point of view, the one who's older or older in spirit, maybe a slightly more mature uh, spiritually than this other person down here, this person's moving out of your life at this time. Okay, so this is king energy. That's boss energy, masculine, fatherly energy. And so the next two cards that I read are future cards. And guess what we've got here? We've got two more kings. Okay. So I'm just going to, they're both right side up. And I just, I'm going to go ahead and pull them uh, up together. Okay. So what we've got here are two kings. One is of coins or pentacles and one is of cups. Now, this, this is um, high rank. These two people that you're trying to um, make a choice between, uh, I can see where this would be a hard choice because these are some pretty cool kings here. Okay, so let's start here with the king of, of, of coins or pentacles. 
This is a person who is very grounded, um, very, um, he's a hardworking professional. He knows what to do with his finances. He, he is, um, he can be kind of serious though, okay? But he's very successful. He's generous. He understands math very well of course he does because he's good at money look at how much wealth he's got everywhere this this king has full control of his um, feminine power of abundance he's got the symbol of the phoenix on his shield here because he knows that um, he doesn't give up if he ever feels like he you know the phoenix dies it burns and then it dies it turns to ashes and it's reborn so this is how he got here, by um, reinventing himself over and over again, and now he's very successful. Okay, so he's, he's successful, he's rich, um, he is uh, intelligent, he is like, nothing uh, stops him, but he's kind of serious. You know, he may be kind of quiet, okay? So the next energy that we've got here is the King of Cups. King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups, he's also a, a mature fatherly energy, okay? So, but he's, he is um, very sensitive to people's emotions. You can confide in him because he actually listens to you. He cares about how you feel. He is also a good business person. Uh, he's very, he, he can be very, very good at, at science. He can be uh, creative enough to be an artist. He's intelligent like the, uh, you know, he's cups, but he's as intelligent as swords. He's um, responsible, he's supportive, he's kind, he could even, you know, Cups is uh, also um, uh, intuitive. He could even be psychic in some ways here, or, or in lots of ways, okay? He, he is also rather opulent looking as well. He, he has, um, he's got a very, very good heart, okay? And, you know, Cups is love. He's very loving. He's very kind. So, yeah. So you've got quite a choice here. Um, wow. Uh, now, this could be, these could be women. These don't have to be men. Okay? These, it just depends on the energy here. The next energy that we read is your hope, okay? And here we have the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands in the reverse, okay? So um, this is kind of a weird thing to, to hope for, but this is miscommunication and inability to judge or make decisions. This can be arrows of jealousy. This can be an internal uh, dispute. This is the stingings of conscience conscious of your conscious okay this is arguments so I don't think that this is what you're hoping for I think this is what's going on and I think that's really weird as well because this is showing up in your hope section but it's actually kind of summing up everything that's going on here now when you look at this card upright look at it um, now the eight of wands is is not usually like this the Eight of Wands is usually um, fast communication, you know, um, news that comes in quickly, news that is passionate. Uh, this is miscommunication. This is not able to make a decision, okay? So I, I, I think that maybe your hopes are kind of off. This is obviously about... Uh, a love relationship as well. You can see how these two, they were children together, you know, and then then up here you see him um, wooing her and then they get married and they've been together forever and now they're having all these arguments and hitting each other. 
Um, that's not funny, but um, it's, it's supposed to represent the stages of relationships. This is in the reverse for you. So um, this is, uh, that's a strange, like I said, you've got quite a reading going on here. Um, so what I'm getting with this is that you might be hoping that all this um, quarreling about which you should choose will, will just be miscommunication. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and clarify. Let's, let's, uh, let me just go ahead and get this bottom of the deck out of here. I'll clarify with my very cute little tiny tarot spirit. Why is this summary of the entire reading in Scorpio's hope section? I kind of feel like some of you have an answer for that already. And it's like, you're saying it as if you're trying to tell me, but I'm, uh, you guys are telling me that from the future right now because I'm not, um, I, I haven't uploaded this yet, so I can't hear ya. Not really, I guess. <laughs> well, check you out on the bottom. You need some sort of change going on here, huh? Holy moly, that was, are you kidding me? <laughs> this isn't. <laughs> this is the same card, yo. The two of wands in reverse. This is what it is. It's saying this is what's at the heart of everything. You you this is all that you are thinking about right now. They're saying you're you're it, it's not about hope right now. You're trying to decide. Um, I think you're hoping to be able to decide. Maybe. Maybe you're not hoping. There's been times when people's hopes and fears get messed up, but I'm not feeling that. I haven't had that happen um, the whole time I've done this channel. Okay, I've had that happen in, in personal readings before. But, um, yeah, this is, this is all about, um, you're, you, something's up with your hopes here. Maybe the, uh, maybe the Oracle cards will be able to clarify that a little bit better for me. I have an idea, uh, that you guys know what this is about. Um, you're probably like, yeah, maybe this is a message that you aren't hoping. You're just so wrapped up in this decision that you need to make that you haven't realized that you can hope for one or the other or you don't know which one to hope for that's it thank you spirit uh, you know, I just said if you just talk stop talking for a second and listen you'd hear that a little faster okay thank you okay so um this is what's going on uh in your uh, daily life. This is your um, environment or your state of being. And this is the Pope. This is one of the reasons I chose this deck for this week. This is very Catholic. He is the head of the Catholic Church. He is also the number five. Five is the number for change. Here's what he, he represents marriage. So it's obvious to me that you have got some serious commitment on your mind. You've got marriage on your mind. You want to get married. You want, you know, but this also has to do with a uh, big business. So if any, if, if any of you, this is all actually about um, a job then this is also, this is, this is just a, this is a big commitment to a, a traditional institution. Okay. He is also father energy. Okay. You guys have father energy all over this reading. Okay. 
all over this reading. This is what it's about for you. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. That's all he's got to say. Okay. Thank you, Pope. Look at he's the Pope. Now, I just finished saying how you have all this father energy here. When boom, you've got the Empress. Yes, this is your fear card. What? What? Okay, so there's a lot of things about this, but you know what? The Empress is abundance. The Empress is, um, she is the epitome of feminine energy. And, you know, she is, um, she is self-confident. She is strong-minded. She is um, self-sufficient. She didn't get to be the empress by being married to the emperor. She became the empress on her own. Okay? So becoming the empress is a big job. Okay? So I'm really feeling that you, uh, you're making this decision between these two masculine energies. And I feel like you probably um, identify as feminine. But when you are the empress, you are the epitome of femininity. The only person that the empress would go to for advice would be the pope or the high priestess. You may be getting advice from this person as a teacher, okay? This is a teacher. Um, if he's not Pope-like, he can be very much like Obi-Wan Kenobi or, you know, he's that type of guy. He's a, a mage. He's a wise man. And he's wise about things like spiritual things. Okay, so I feel like right now you may be um, getting some advice from this from this Pope, okay, or some guidance or something. Um, but you, this the sphere of the Empress. There's also action that needs to be taken, and that's choosing. Also, the Empress is all of the queens, and what's interesting here is uh, something else I'll show you in a second which you may already know here is the um, the potential outcome okay and this is more of your energy this is cup energy and guess what we've this page of cups is dressed like the guards at the Vatican so this is actually like the first time I've put this together look he, this is the Vatican okay he He's the Pope, he's Major Arcana, but right here he's like, he's the, the, the Pope's guard. Isn't that interesting? So I, I think that there's going to be a message coming in, um, a message about love. This is cups, this is your energy. It could even be a message from this King of Cups, okay? Um, and But it's in reverse, so what this is is a delay in the communication. I believe it's coming, though. Okay, so the, the advice for this card, too, is to spend more time away from friends and colleagues because, obviously, they are confusing you. They're putting their opinions in. Even this Pope here, maybe, um, could, could be confusing you. Um, but, the, see, the Empress, the reason you're fearing the Empress is probably because you know you have to do this on your own. The Empress does this thing, everything on her own. You know, like I said, she could get advice um, from the Pope or from the High Priestess. Right now she's getting advice from the Pope. Uh, and there's all this masculine energy, so that kind of makes sense. But maybe what you ought to do is get some advice from the High Priestess, which is your intuition. You have to learn your, to use your intuition more, and this is what's going to bring in your abundance. 
Okay, so it could be that kind of stuff that you already know that you're afraid to use. You, it's, it's not easy being the, the empress. It's not easy getting to where she is in charge of her life, in charge of her abundance. So I do believe that a message is coming in, but it's delayed. And eventually this card will flip. And when it does come, he's going to bring some sort of um, invitation. Okay, it could be a celebration. It could be a marriage. When this card is uh, surrounded uh, by um, uh, a positive card, it, it could mean marriage. Okay, and uh, when you've got the Pope here, who also means marriage, and you've got the Two of Cups, which also means marriage, um, I think that you may be getting a message pretty soon about somebody who wants to, um, who is serious. This can also be an apology or a reconciliation when it actually does come in, okay? Now, uh, when it's surrounded, when this card is surrounded by negative cards, then it's some, it, it's indicative of the separation. I don't see a lot of negativity. All I see is you, um, unable to make a decision between two kings, okay? The negativity is there, but I don't, I mean, it's closer to this Pope here than it is to this mess. I just feel like this is going to be a, a future uh, message, but for now it's delayed, which is why it's upside down. Now the energy underneath, uh, the underlying energy of this entire spread is the King of Swords. So, talk about masculine energy. Scorpio? You have every single king in the deck, plus a pope, plus two pages, masculine pages, okay? Now, this king of swords, he is another mature person. He looks kind of young here, kind of like the that kid from Game of Thrones, um, but anyway, this is a, a mature, intelligent, he's an intellectual genius. He is, um, he is communicative. He is, um, he can be somebody involved uh, in things. He might, he could be like a policeman or a military person, a service person, anybody who's armed, anybody who was armed. He could have been a veteran. Okay, somebody in a place of authority. Okay, so this is all, all because of, of this person's honesty, I just heard, um, because he's got the sword of truth here. It may have been a little bit cutting. You know what I'm thinking? It may, this, this was in the last uh, reading that I just had, that this king of swords, man, this king of swords has been giving everybody grief this week. <laughs> um but, it, you know, uh, the last reading I just did was Cancer, because I do all the, all the water signs at once. And uh, often, and I've said it over and over again, that often these readings, no matter how much I shuffle, um, some of the same stories come out. And it must be because of you, you guys have the same element. So in Cancer's reading, um, the, the person was seeing uh, the, this person like this King of Swords but they were actually, they were shown that they're actually not as emotionally mature as you think they are. So um, I'm wondering if maybe there was a message from this person. And this person has this difference in opinion on who you should uh, choose, which way to go. Now... The, the thing about getting all uh, kings, you got all four kings. Now, granted, this one isn't actually in the spread, but I feel like he kind of is because he's, oh my God, because he's related to this page of swords who is a, a part of the spread, but I just picked it up and look who's underneath this king of swords is his queen in the reverse. So if you are, maybe this is um, a friend of yours and the message that came from him 
was actually the opinion of his queen, of his wife or something, um, because she's upside down. She is in, um, in, a, in a more negative energy, okay? Interesting. So you've got uh, four kings here. You've got the Pope and the Empress. And what that says is there is a lot of authority and high honors going on here. Okay? You've got father energy everywhere. In fact, this is what uh, Jesus, his card says, um, forgiveness, you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So father healing is possible for you, and it's obviously through forgiveness. Um, Mary says, read me, teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Okay. So there, you've got the, uh, the father element here. You've got the teacher element here with both the Pope and the Empress together. So I just, you know, it's obvious to me that Mary and uh, Jesus are really in this reading for you today. Um, but, uh, oh, I'm having a uh, deja vu that I dreamt this, which I do often. Um, no, I dreamt this many years ago, many years ago. I'm seeing the number seven, seven years ago, perhaps. Interesting. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm going a little long here because this is such an interesting reading. Let's get this, uh, let's get this out of here. Okay, so um, if you have some questions for this deck, if you haven't already um, gotten those in your head, just pause this video and uh, ask your question. I'll just wait a second while you do that. Okay, so you probably are back now. Um, you've got your question asked. Um, angels, can you give us some clarification about what this is a it just seems like a very important reading and um, there is some very strong messages um, about masculinity here is all over this and then we've got the epitome of femininity over here standing her grounds standing her uh, keeping um, holding her own is what I'm trying to say, holding her own among all of this masculine energy, even as a fear. Whoops. All right. Please give me at least three cards, angels. What have you to say, Scorpio? Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you so much. May I have at least one more? Holy moly, did you see that one? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Let's go ahead and get this little one out of here. Uh, with my handy dandy picker upper deal. All right. All right. So they've been telling, I've been reading stuff like this, like one at a time, you know, with like the fairy oracles and stuff. For this particular deck, they're telling me to do this. Holy moly. That was this. I think that was cancers. Okay. There we go. Look for a sign. To ask for help from others because yes the situation will improve if you had a question that had a yes or no answer for it it is yes um, but right now I, I'm thinking that you need to not do really anything um, it looks like you may already be asking help from others you're asking the advice of the Pope um, uh, I just think that even though this is your fear, this is your energy, you're the Empress energy right now. So you're asking, um, you're probably asking the right person for um, help, but um, there's, there's, 
a sign that needs to strike you like it's going to strike you like lightning okay and i feel like this is jesus too so jesus is really talking to you here now after a while um once you find this sign you, i think the sign is going to tell you who to ask for help from and then you're going to say is this the person that i need to ask for help from yes and then it's after that that where the situation will improve Sometimes um, all you have to do is wait for a little time to go by and people show their, their true selves, um, uh, more truths come out, and it's easier to make a decision. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask the um, Keepers of the Light deck if there's anybody, uh, what, what they would like to say um, to close this reading for you, Scorpio. anything you would like to say keepers at least one card please thought somebody flipped nope all right anyone else okay oh boy Ma <laughs> Mahavatar Babaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Let me just tell you who this is. Um, uh, I looked him up, and this is the teacher that taught Jesus. Jesus uh, went to India and learned um, from Mahavatar Maha 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 Babaji. All right. Wow. What a, an intense reading that was, but uh, I hope it resonated with you. I hope you have a wonderful Easter and I'll see you next time, Scorpio.